Okay, folks, this is the easy way of soldering SMD components. What you have in front of you is a tin can vapor phase oven. Highly technologically advanced. Fuel container. This container is not been cut. You can see over here I use little washers to clamp it down. The heat source on the bottom. 500 watt halogen lamp just the tip if you do get hold of a lamp buy a couple of extra globes because I don't know how long they will be around still um, over here nice slide that's the support the board sits on these housings for the roller bearings have been 3d printed so can slide your boards up and down that is the spacer to support the boards just above the level of the liquid uh, while it is cooking and uh, these uh, are just normal acrylic lids cut on a laser cutter and with a rubber seal to try and keep hold of the precious liquid now how does it work? The secret ingredient is this stuff. It's called Galden and uh, it is what everybody uses in the industry, in the industrial uh, vapor phase ovens. It is ludicrously expensive. You're looking at about 1500 Australian doll hairs for uh, 5 kilograms of it but you don't need five kilograms this is 300 grams and completely enough for what we are going to be doing here today so it does evaporate if you leave it in there too long so I take it out if I know I'm not going to sold the boards for the next day of five. Um, I'll take it out once it's cooled down, of course. But uh, as I said, it's pretty expensive. So now this goes in there. Hang on a sec. Now here's a little array of boards I loaded earlier on in a previous video. them on there, lower them into the container, turn on the power and nothing happens. Only thing that happens is the light is on, the light heats the galden, the galden begins to boil. It has a very specific boiling point of 230 degrees Celsius. The board is suspended just above the galden which means that the board also reaches 230 degrees Celsius. Nothing more, nothing less. So your temperature is super controlled. All you have to do is wait 10 minutes. That's what it looks like on the inside. You can see the gelden is boiling away merrily. It'll still soon start to make a vapor. Then we won't be able to see much of what's going on. Not with the camera anyway but you usually you can see the when the solder starts melting and that's a good indication i say 10 minutes because in our ambient temperature which is normally quite warm that is enough if you live in a cold area you might want to leave it a bit longer but a little bit of experimentation also would depend on how heavy your parts are how heavy the boards if you this is a one millimeter board if you've got a really super thick board it might take a bit longer it's not the only only thing you have to be concerned about is the time so uh, just keep an eye on the time see when the solder starts melting give it say a minute more and you know you're good okay the time is up What I've done now is I've just raised the board away from the gelden, from the vapors, 
and now I'm going to give it five minutes for the gelatin to just evaporate off the hot board and turn back into a, a liquid and uh, condense in the bottom of the tin because there's such a big temperature differential between the bottom where the vapor is boiling and higher up in the container the board is actually now in a very cool area you can touch that it's not very hot so uh, just gives the gelatin a bit of a time to evaporate off just be careful when you do this because when you turn off the light the solder is still molten so if you're just going to yank it up you are going to uh, upset your your components components that's been bumped off the board because you were got a bit excited okay it's now finished cooling off let's see what our board looks like Get the next one going and look at that not a single tombstone not bad for a home loaded board gotta love it and the one side now with the LEDs now it's time for the other side. You see these screws I put in here? They are my supports because the board has got now components on the bottom and I've just loaded the top. We don't want the components on the bottom to be damaged. Power on, 10 minutes. Okay, cooking is done, cool down is done. Let's see what the board looks like. Lights a bit bad. I'll take it inside now. We can have a look. That and the fact that the mosquitoes are trying to eat me alive out here. Welcome to Australia. There's always something trying to kill you. Okay, folks. Evaluation time. I've loaded all three, all five panels now. Three of them, perfect. No tombstones. This guy. One tombstone over there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. And his 603 is pretty small. And then our not so star performer. One day, one day, one day, one day. Don't know what happened there. I suspect my printing was not what it was supposed to be not too hard to fix at least the resistors are easy to fix these leds they are very hard to fix that's why i load them first and get them out of the way hey let's try better next time